Hello YouTube. I uh, wanted to do another quick tip video real fast. Uh, this one's, uh, you know, regarding nuts and bolts. Um, anytime you're, you know, making anything, there, there's always a chance and you're going to find yourself doing it from time to time, uh, needing to modify a bolt. Um, either cut it short, cut the head off, you know, round it over for some reason, cut a slot in it for, for a screw, um, cut the wings off to make like a DIY T-nut any old thing, maybe you're sharpening the end for like a, um, for like a live center, if you're making some kind of lathe, uh, you know, setup, whatever you're doing, uh, there's a good chance at some point you're going to find yourself needing to, to modify a bolt, which usually means, um, you know, holding it in a pair of vice grips or in, in a vice, uh, you know, like a bench vice or something. Uh, anytime you do that, you always run the risk of wrecking the threads. And there's a really quick uh, uh, trick the, to never wreck the threads. Of course, you could wrap the threads in something. I don't really like that. Um, you know, you could wrap it in like a paper towel or a rag or something like that to protect the threads. But if you're like me, you do your, you know, the modifications frequently with something like an angle grinder, which is going to shoot a bunch of sparks into your paper towel um, or your rag, which maybe you were using for oil. I don't know. It's just it, there's an easier way. Um, it's a, and it's a very easy way. So all you need to do is you're going to sacrifice one bolt that fits, or sorry, one nut that fits whatever bolt you're. Uh, wanting to modify. All you're going to do, and this is not the vice I would normally use for this, but it's the one you guys can see on video. So clamp it up, and you're basically going to make a bolt vise. I hate hacksaws. Um, I usually use um, my, you know, I've got a little portable bandsaw that I would normally use for something like this. Um, but if I have to use a hacksaw on something like this, which I do because I want you guys to be able to see it. I like to just hit it with a file real quick to make a starting point. And then all you got to do is really quickly saw through one side. Now, um, you want to make sure as you're approaching coming through, that you take it really slow because what you don't want to do is pop all the way through and hit the, um, the threads on the adjoining side or on the, uh, you know, the, on the other side of the bolt. I think it might be through. Yep, just made it through. Okay, that's it. That's all you need to do. Now you can see we've got a small gap in here, and that small gap is just enough to allow uh, you know, either side of it to give enough to really tighten down on the bolt, with, but without wrecking the threads, because uh, you know it'll be creating a kind of a uh, like a wedging force on, on the threads, uh, which is actually be pushing out on the inner faces of the threads as opposed to putting you know pushing down on the tips of the threads. So in this case, you can see that this is still very free spinning, uh, very easy to use. You guys can see this. It's still very free spinning, but when we take it and we clamp it, put it under a clamping force, like, like our vice grips or our bench vise, now that's not going anywhere. And we can work on this, take it safely to whatever uh, we need to the bench vise for, you know, if we want to, you know, hit it on the bench vise instead of the vice grips, if we want to, you know, if we want to use a file on it, if we want to use this for, you know, or angle grinder or to run it through a bandsaw uh, or whatever have you. And that's it. And as you can see here, we've, you know, we've marred up the face of our bolt pretty well. We, you know, our, our threads wouldn't have held up even that well. So uh, very handy. Uh, I don't know how often it will come up, but when it does come up, it's a useful trick. Uh, thanks a lot, YouTube. Talk to you later.